Remember Frederick Washika from our last week's story? Washika is just one example of people with motor neuron disease. Motor neuron disease is a term used to describe various diseases which all have in common the fact that there is damage to the motor nerves that transmit the impulses from the brain to the muscles. But to understand it more effectively, one will have to go through the background of some of the anatomy of the nervous system on how it works. When you get the intention that you want to do something, you have the thought or the intention in your mind. Now that intention is transmitted from your brain to your muscles. Say for example, you want to move your hand or move your legs. It's transmitted by way of nerves, and those nerves are called the motor nerves. According to Dr. Ndege, motor neuron disease is a degenerative disorder where the nerves deteriorate without any external trigger factors. The reasons for this degeneration are often unknown, so what follows is the failure of the transmission of signals from the brain down to the muscles. It's like a relay system. The first relay is from the brain down to a point in the, in the spinal cord. And the second relay is from the spinal cord terminating in the effector organ, which is the muscle. This disease also has different classifications, some of which include ALS. Here, both the upper and lower relays get affected. So the signs that one gets come as a mixture of the dysfunction of both the upper motor neurons and the lower ones. PBP. It presents with similar damage of motor neurons, but mainly with swallowing, which has to do with the weakening of the throat muscles. But one question that has been puzzling many is whether a person can suffer from more than one type of the disease. It's a um, progressive disorder. Once it starts, it marches on relentlessly. So actually for most patients, they end up merging into one. It starts as a PBS, but eventually it might spread to involve everything else. Um, so, for every patient who has got any of the motor neuron diseases, they are at risk of getting paralysis everywhere. And that's the, um, the fear and the, um, you know, the, why, why it's such a terrifying disease. Because, you know, once it starts, it's going to march on relentlessly. Medics say that they have not yet found the causes of this disease. However, some people are more likely to get it for a number of reasons. One is genetic. Medics say that there is a gene that undergoes a mutation in various families and changes of it being transmitted down generations are high. So far, research shows genetic factors are responsible for one out of every 10 cases of motor neuron disease. Sporadic factors. For the vast majority of cases, the disease can mysteriously decide to attack without any traces of genetic predispositions. But if you have a family member who is suffering from this disease, one of the most important and easy ways of ensuring their comfort is by massaging them. This helps in the reduction of muscle cramps and fatigue. It is a disease that was a heard of a decade ago, but now it's here with us and medics say that it's here to stay. Well, before we didn't know any information concerning this disease, but now we know. For KTN, I am Mala Kivila.